other news now. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has been visiting Niger, the world's number four uranium producer. It's the second of three stops in a trip aimed at deepening Iran's ties with Africa, a continent Ahmadinejad has countered for business deals and diplomatic support. Arise News' Jerome Evans has more. Ahmadinejad was greeted at the airport by Niger President Mohamedou Issoufou and without making a statement was taken in a convoy to the rundown riverside capital Niamey. A group of youths gathered and sang outside the airport holding pictures of the Iranian leader. It's the first time we welcome an Iranian president in Niger. This proves that Nigerian diplomacy for two years has been working well. Last week, Iran said it had started up two uranium mines and a milling plant and that Western opposition would not slow its nuclear work. According to some Western analysts, Iran may be close to exhausting reserves of raw uranium that are crucial to its nuclear activity and might have to seek out foreign sources, although the UN sanctions would forbid such purchases. Iran denies Western accusations that it's stockpiling enriched uranium as potential nuclear weapons fuel, not for future civilian power stations, as it maintains. Before arriving in Niger, Ahmadinejad was in Benin, where, according to media reports, he said Iran had no need to use uranium to develop an atomic bomb. Niger Foreign Minister Mohamed Bazoum said uranium was not on the official agenda, but might still come up. Some think the Iranian leader's visit could signal new economic development for the African country. For Niger, I think it is very important. Iran has recently started producing oil. I think that Iran can help Niger a great deal in that sector. After Niger, Ahmadinejad travels to oil-producing Ghana in his last stop for the week's West African tour. Jerome Evans, Arise News.